Part six, industry foundation classes, part two. The whole IFC schema is huge as it contains most of the digital parts you would ever need during a project. It's not just elements, there are processes, resources, people. We could really go to town if you wanted and you could create on-site work schedules, to RFIs, to orders. It captures so much for many different purposes and you wouldn't want to exchange the whole thing and software wouldn't be able to implement the whole thing. So we need to be able to filter it into mini schemas. This is so we only specify, deliver and check the information we need for a particular purpose. And this is what the level of information need framework is all about. And for software to implement it so it can be exported and imported. These filters have a name. They're called model view definitions or MVDs. And this one also contains some custom properties. There are several official MVDs developed or being developed by Building Smart International. When we exchange IFC data models, we're in fact exchanging MVD. And MVDs are essentially standardised EIR schemas. The most common MVD exchanged is coordination view. And this is what it looks like at a schema view. Very roughly speaking, it breaks down like this. Because this doesn't change, I can build rules which will tell me if a door will clash with a light fitting or to ignore pipes below 20 millimetres when conducting clash analysis. I can also check the data side, for example, all objects follow the project's naming convention and that the property flow rate is filled in for all chillers. Since construction is still currently file based, we exchange IFC MVD data models by creating a file to put the data into. And when you create a file, you need a file format to package the scheme up into a file language. For IFC, there are several exchange formats. The main one we exchange is step file, which is part of ISO 103321. And because it confusingly has the .ifc file extension, this has caused a big misunderstanding that many think IFC is just a file format and not an entire data model and schema. So when we exchange IFC MVDs, we tend to exchange them using STEP, which is a text-based file format. There is also XML, which is underused. Then there are another three in development where the emphasis is less on exchanging files, but exchanging the data. RDF, XML and Turtle are particularly exciting as these are the formats for linked semantic data where the relationships are basically on steroids, meaning you can gain so much more useful information from querying the data. IFC is going through a process of modernization. The express schema is moving to a UML schema, which is more widely used. The data model is going to be more modularized to make it much more flexible. MBDs will essentially be replaced with information delivery specifications, which is the level of information needs schema for exchange information requirements. And if we go down the route of using model servers, we could start to eliminate paper and perform more advanced queries and analysis, which we're just not doing at the moment to really unlock the data in the models. So a summary, IFC is a data model. It's represented by a schema. It can be exchanged in several file formats and other bits plug into it. It's the information layer of information management in accordance with ISO 19650.